Hi. Hi. It's Monday again. Uh, Hi. Hi. I'm Sean, still. I'm yeah. Lee. I'm tired. I'm Lee. Lee but tired? Yeah. I'm Sean. Lee but Hi. tired. Welcome to Mostly yeah. Walking. This show rules despite the fact that we are moderate energy beans today. <laughs> And what we'll be playing is <laughs> Sam and Max Save the World. Ooh! Oh. Now, if you don't know the history of this one, you won't for another few minutes because I have to <laughs> welcome Lee and Sean here. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sean B. Now, you're, you're a little low energy. I mean, how, how are you functioning in a low energy state? Like, when you're low energy, how does Sean B treat Sean B right? Oh, oh gosh. Uh... Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'm doing it right now. I, I'm I'm not sure that this yeah. is a good example of it. Uh, I want to hear it. Yeah. No, I I you know it's it is uh, week fourteen of fifteen uh, for the semester. Um, oh. I am I am I am tired. There's there's also a lot of stuff going on just like in my life, and it's Thanksgiving. Wow. Uh, so yeah. um, you know I'm I'm. Uh, I'm trying to stay on top of everything. I'm trying to like get up in the morning and and have a day every day. Yeah, yeah. No, lately it feels wow. you know people talk about um you're building the car as it's moving kind of thing. I feel like the car is falling apart as I'm moving. Mm -hmm. You know what I yeah. mean? Where I I I decided today <laughs> I'm actually to... oh go ahead. No, you're just trying to keep balance. You're just trying to like, is yeah. this a part that will make, oh. that will support me? The yeah. left wheels are gone. I guess we lean right while careening down the hill. <laughs> like that's how I'm functioning right now because I, I smartly uh, had a discussion uh, with Eric, who's my business partner in crime, and he, um, we, we made a little plan to have like regular punctuated breaks because the thing is that people typically Ooh. get weekends off, people typically get holidays off, but as a streamer. Hmm. Uh, and mm -hmm. broadcaster and host, I have all sorts of weekend events. I have n completely, like, no intersection with holidays whatsoever. I'm streaming on Thursday and Friday. Like, they're normal days, Ooh. right? Like, because why wouldn't I? It's my job. Right. People especially are going to be taking those days off. It's perfect for me to stream. Viewership will be up and people will be full of turkey. Um, so we were like, okay, so we need to take two days off, like, every, like, minimum, two days off every six weeks. And so I haven't done that for a few months. So I'm just going to like try to pack it all in in Christmas time. So woo! Um, wow. Lee G, who has low energy. Um, yeah. What does Lee do when Lee's low energy to sort of well, just treat yourself On right? nights like this, Lee puts the onus on the bonus and brings something for show and tell. And what I found <laughs> in the old house today here at my parents' place is the novelization of Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Holy <laughs> shit. Oh my God, by Jane Jensen. Can, like, did, can you control F it for legs? <laughs> well, what I was hoping you all would indulge me in is first give me a page number here. Yeah. Because I think oh. it's time to get in. Let's go to page 69. Mm -hmm. There you go. I mean, there's no and other page have... to go to. And then let me see how many paragraphs there are on page 69. Okay. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm just going to go in. We're going to jump into it. We're jumping into a conversation jump, here. Jump in. Yeah. Gabriel gave Max his most sheepish smile. <laughs> I'd be happy to give you credit in the bibliography if you can reconstruct it there it is. Max looked doubtful. Well, I'll tell you what, he said. I have tonight free since he got my drawing back. I'll spend the evening on it. And we can see how it goes. And busy tomorrow, then. And next week. Basically, it just keeps going like that. Yeah, no, like. Because, <laughs> no, I remember this. Because this is when you're in the bookstore, right? And Gabriel Knight is like, he like works at a bookstore where he sells books and womanizes, Weird. I think, yeah. were his two yeah. primary roles. And he has a um, new hire, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I did find. I did find what I think is a number counting system. No. Oh, oh my God. Gross. Uh, you know, I I will quote um, Stephen Hawking, who said that every equation you include in a book cuts the readership in half. Oh, was that his quote? Yeah. This one. It is what about now. This fucking one. This one appeals to Gabriel because I... you know he starts to. <laughs> I mean it. 
This is, I mean, it's it's just so bizarre. It is. I, I think, give me one more page number here. Uh, Sean Bloom, this is all you. Uh, 115. Yeah, no, that's about 69 pages forward from where we were at. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> a car passed by noisily and jerked to a halt at the nearby stop sign. It was an old Chevy convertible. The three teenaged girls spotted him and whooped. He sheepishly waved. Mmm, baby, a perky blonde said with a drawl that was not the least ladylike. Can I have a ride on your machine? Oh, my oh God. great, great question. <laughs> right, that's, that's it. perfect oh page. It there. No, that's What's perfect. With me? I, I, I love, I love that. Um, there was an interview where, like, you know, people were like, uh, Jane Jensen was like, "What's wrong with having a sexy protagonist?" Which is hilarious because in Spinal Tap, there's that joke where they're like, "What's wrong with being sexy?" And they're like, "No, no, no. People said you're sexist." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's. I mean, that's this good. is this that's is fantastic, good. and I I, I, I really. Is, I think this is Gabriel, by the way. Oh my God! Yes. What? Yeah. No, he he he's like a slightly more southern drawl heavy Elvis kind of accented person. If any of you have ever played the game, and you just can't stop talking about legs. <laughs> Um, so that's, this is really good. This is going to set us on the right track. Um, I'm very excited to play, uh, Sam Max Save the World. And in fact, let's just, let's just set the mood by clicking in and hearing the audio. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that's actually a little low. Let's, let's pump it up. Let's pump up the jam. Pump it up. As always, every game decides to have different <laughs> audio levels. So this is perfect. Yeah. Um. So, they haven't standardized it yet. Little history of Sam and Max Save the World. So, if we rewind time to the late 80s, early 90s, the golden era of graphic adventure games, the... Oh, yes. Yeah, no, I like this. Get your get your basic two-step going, you know? <laughs> um, golden age of graphic adventure games. Where you had such great hits as Sam and Max Hit the Road, the good old LucasArts games, King's Quest... This died in the late 90s because people were making more casual games, action games like Halo that didn't require the advanced, sophisticated puzzle solving that you would need to defeat a game like a Grim Fandango or a The Dig. Um, and so, graphic adventure games, poof, disappeared. And then Telltale came along, got some of the old IPs, and used what is now a rarely used business model the episodic game. Oh, episodic! Was the season so big. would be say so thirty to fifty bucks or whatever, but each episode yep. would be five dollars for like two to three hours of content, or as we would describe it, four to six episodes of mostly walking. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas now games are still episodic, but you're supposed to buy them once and then just continue getting free content forever. Yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, if I actually, I wanna, I'm gonna. This is a little bit of a throwback. I'm gonna oh, show in my uh, computer. Mm. In your computer. Excuse me, not on my computer, on my Steam. So you'll see that we're playing Sam and Max Save the World. But look at the original Sam and Max, season one, episode one, season two, three, two, four, five, six, yeah. one, two, three, Whoa. four, five, six. Like these are all individual games yeah. and installs. So That's it is just clonkered up my. Uh, Steam Don't page. put it right up there, did it? Sorry, it, he it sounded like an England. It did so well, good love. Um, <laughs> well, good. So coming back, Perfect. and so um, <laughs> many people know of Telltale Games for The Walking Dead, which is a traditional point-and-click graphic adventure game, um, which was hugely successful, which then led into. Uh, a Wolf Among Us, which was also not as successful, but still very well reviewed. Mm -hmm. um, and then Telltale started to go insane with just trying to get every bit of IP and trying to um, episodify all of these. They did like Lego and they did Batman and they did Game of Thrones and like... They did a Simpsons. Guardians of the Galaxy. That's right, oh. they did Guardians of the Galaxy, they did Borderlands, Jurassic Park. Like... And 
that company eventually went busto because people were just burning the candle at both ends there because they instead of having your usual like we have two to three years of development time it was like we need to get this episode out in three months and when it's done we need to get another episode out in three months when this is done we need to get another episode out in three months and a lot of their good talent left like the um walking dead folk they left and founded the company that did firewatch um Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Campo Santo. Yeah, that's what it is. Thank you very much. And then they left San Francisco to go work for Gabe Gabe Newell, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think a- Gabe. They a- live Volvo. with Gabe now. Yeah, at a- Valve Software. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this game, Sam and Max <clears throat> Save the World, was one of their very, very first games as Telltale. And so when it came out, um, I was still in college. And I started to play these when I first started going to grad school with these beauty babies, Lee and Sean. And it was remastered in 2020 with a new company called Skunk Ape, which is not necessarily the most appetizing name for a company. Skunk Ape. Um, But it consists of a lot of the old devs from Telltale. And so it's really lovely to be playing this remastered with new graphics on one of yeah. like my personal favorite games of the graphic adventure era, Sam and Max. Yeah. So this is going to be Sam and Max Save the World that I believe is either season one or all three seasons. Um, pretty tight. It's going to be pretty fucking tight. So we're going to hit that play button. Wow, this turned out to be a really juicy history lesson. Yeah, do you want to... Uh, Sean, do you want to slap that play button? Oh, I want to smack it so hard. Ooh, oh, yeah. look at this. From what child stars of the Soda Poppers TV show are wreaking havoc all over the neighborhood. But this is no ordinary, ordinary tale. The child stars gone awry. There's a dark force behind the Poppers' baffling antics, using only their wits and a slew of heavy household objects. It's up to Sam and Max to save the day. Alright. Play. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Alright, now, if, if, if the audio's off, you let me know. It's also... It's loading, so we're losing some frames. Oh, we're losing all the frames. Oh my god, it's tanking hard. Oh yeah, who doesn't love a game that loads Ooh. and falls I've hard? still got Sean Bloom. Yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry. Oh my god. Uh... Okay, hold on, it's, it's still loading. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, hold on, hold on. I'll turn it off and turn it back on again. Settle down, Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a soda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just do that. There we go. Okay, it's working. It's working. Oh my god, this is one of my favorite things in the universe. Uh, yeah, we we should be fine now. Yeah, there we, there we go. Well, um, hey, Sean, Sean B, I know that. Um, oh my god, hold on, my whole my whole Discord Early. just crashed and restarted. Damn. Hey, hey. So you should be able to see me in a moment. Uh, let's go ahead. and... Share this skunk ape game. This is so funny. Literally, it lagged so much that it completely crashed my Discord. Wow. Uh, so now, now we actually have to go to here. Pop. There you are. And hey. Let's... hey. All right. All right. Adamus. All that, all that work we did pre-show to get you, get I you know. centered. Yeah, yeah. It's. <laughs> well, hey, Sean B. While, while I'm briefly adjusting this, um. Didn't you play a lot of these back in grad school? A lot of these episodic games? Yeah, I did. So I was really into uh, I, I was really into Telltale uh, for a while there. I mean, I say that I, I it, they produced a lot of games, and I did not play them all. But I, I yeah. played this series, and I played the uh, Monkey Island series. Oh, that one was good. And that was that was very good. I maybe played a couple uh, other odd ones here and there. Um, but I this was my first experience with sam and max i did not play sam and max uh when i was yeah. you know we won um uh because it was one of those lucas arts games yeah, uh yeah. and uh so i didn't really know the characters but the game had such tremendous personality very funny dialogue uh as i recall I but wait, also yeah like some of the 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 directions that the the not just the story but like the gameplay surrounding the story kind of goes cartoonishly um uh i thought was just very clever and interesting and fun 
so yeah, I was I was a big fan. I'm also this is sticks in my mind as uh, a game that does like a puzzle game uh, in the point and click adventure genre. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That that gives you that has a really nice hinting system where like oh ooh, yeah, I want to see this. You can ask for hints and they're presented in world and they, as I remember them, they were sort of like, they made it uh, uh, maybe not frictionless, but like a so let you good. adjust kind of the amount of how much time do you want to spend beating your head against stupid adventure game puzzles and how much do you want sort of uh, Max to just tell you what to do. Non-Newtonia, well, it's dude. the harder you push, the harder it gets. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, yeah. Zip zap zow. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Look how stylish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's there's not a lot of really good title sequences in games like this. Music. So the music is actually very bopping. It's bopping oh, yeah, very it's, hard. It's, yeah, this is, it it's, is. it's a smacker for sure. And I love Sam and Max's characters like so much. Yeah. Hey, let's let's not chew on the sound mixer. Let's not. Mm, yep. uh, you know, chew on the sound mixer. All right. Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local <laughs> lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly <laughs> ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. <laughs> Fucking wow. This All is right. uh, uh, immediately just brings me right back to the Sam and Max hit the road. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Right? Yeah, like it, it, they do a great job of capturing that energy. And the dialogue is... Dude, funny dialogue is dangerous. Because as you know, there is no joke less funny than a joke told twice. And when you're in a game and you're stuck in loops and it just keeps trying to say the same quippy thing, I don't want to mess up my blade. That's a good line because it's very neutral, right? So yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. one of these days we're going to finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. <laughs> I'll turn down the volume just slightly. Yeah, dude, I this is this might be one of these episodes where we just like laugh at what the characters say and just enjoy yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that Max's desk? Trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, is, I... that, is that his desk? Look at that little desk. Oh, oh, yeah, he's got a little desk. Hilarious. No comment. No comment. Oops, I didn't mean to click it again. Oh, Sean. That was funny the first time. So I think it... <laughs> So, oh yeah, so this is something that I think Ooh. is new in the game where if you hit T, it shows oh. you things you can interact with. Oh. Cool. That's neat. <laughs> Lush vegetation. Ooh, I think look Hubert at the... could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states, but those were quieter times. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. No dice. I love how the uh, the hover text looks like. Um, oh, it know, gets the like a comic book. Yeah. Comic books. Yeah. Oh my God! I didn't. Th there's a there's a fish in the water cooler. Oh, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? <laughs> it's it's a coat rack with a with a noose on it. Where's the rest of the noose <laughs> collection, Max? It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, that's such that is such a great line. Uh, Last uh. month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. <laughs> dude, dude, like a lot of these jokes are landing. I don't know if you've ever, like, read unfunny dialogue that's supposed to read as funny, where one person says something and the other person says an unfunny reply and the original person throws their head back and laughs, giving uh -huh. a, a warm grin to Mr. Funny Man. I'm like, none of this shit is fucking funny. <laughs> like, and it's in voice acting? Oh, it's so good. All right, let's, let's see what else is here. Oh, yeah, boxing glove. This might come in handy. <laughs> yeah, Don't do is... that again. <laughs> oh look, it's irritatingly good. This game is is, is good. This is well written, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so hard because good writing is not a feature. It, you just it, have to yeah. do a good job of it. It makes me want to be a better writer. Like uh, you know what I mean? Like yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm a better writer than some people, and then sometimes I read stuff that's like, uh oh, this is getting yeah. I got, now I have to, I have to, over, uh, what is it? What is it when you, 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 you meet someone they say graffiti who's is the poetry slightly better at what you do Just than what, what you need. do? More lame you poetry. Do? Mm. And then you have to get better. Oh, yeah, no, I think that's called, uh, Twitter. Or Instagram. Which, like... <laughs> Instagram, yes. It, it's it, the, it, uh, it's a tiny pumpkin, yeah. Uh, the tiny pumpkin, um, weapon, uh, escalation. Yeah, no, and I mean, I, I actually can't handle getting on social media lately, you know, because like anytime I'm stressed, my brain is like, we need to be harsher on ourselves because if we are harsh oh. enough, we will get stuff done. And so if I go on social media, you know, it's just like people that are dressed up for a nice event that I'm not at, and I'm like, oh fuck, it happened, I'm done, <laughs> you know, and then I'm just like, oh Jesus, I got on social media and I shouldn't have done that shit. Poison. Poison. Poisson. Right, what, what else can we click on in here? Oh I just, I very carefully curate my social media so that it is only pictures of fat cats. Yeah. Aww. Let me just fiddle with the reception here. Put it back, Sam. Put it back. There. That oh, fixed I... it. <laughs> Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, <laughs> the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. <laughs> so good. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. So I think we've done all of these. We haven't hit the light switch, but oh yeah, we've done Max's desk. All right, so let's hit the lava lamp. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Did you oh do? yes, I forgot. Oh That's yeah, the if, best feature. Okay. Do you do you remember in um? I mean, this, this actually happened in so many old games where your uh, NPC friends. It happens friends, in Skyrim all the time. Yeah. NPCs block fucking doorways and get in the way. Oh, yeah. So if you walk yeah. up to Max and he's just in the way, Sam just hits him and he just get he flies off screen, and then he lands somewhere. Oh, he's and he, doing an amazing job of getting around you though. Yeah, he, hey, Max. He is, he is. When is it, Sam? I hadn't even realized that there is a yeah. There's a, so there's your hint. Basis. That's your hint text. Yeah, yeah. Where's that cheese? Oh, you sure you right. don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh. You'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. Yeah, like, see, that's... That, like, this is the most clever hint system. Because it's, it's yeah. like, built in like your partner would mm -hmm. actually be the person you'd talk to about trying to figure out what to do. Who do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the union. Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. <laughs> oh yeah. So 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 there's a couple things that are hallmarks of Sam and Max where um so obviously Sam is uses way too many words and is way too verbose <laughs> unnecessarily. So there's always a dialogue option where 
Sam can just say something that has nothing to do with what's going on, that is just him talking. Have you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. <laughs> Some good. days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Oh, it's so good. Oh, man. All right, let's get the bowling ball. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. All right. 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Ah, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Oh, wait, this is the same office as in the original Sam and Max game right? we played. Yep. Oh my god, it's the same layout, because yeah. here's the rat hole, and here's the closet door that we didn't find, that Lee always references, is there's probably yeah. a screen. Oh my god! All right. <laughs> it's good shit. Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole! <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, there it is! <laughs> And I, I, I love that Sam and Max... Oh, we lost Lee. Oh, no. Oh, the layout is busto. All right, Lee. Hi. Hello. Hit it. Hit, Hello? That, hit that cam. There it is. There we go. Hit the wrong button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I love that Sam and Max are freelance police. That is the funniest thing. <laughs> <name. Yeah. laughs> freelance Unfortunately, police. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. Oh, my cheese. God. So what? Oh, oh. So the rat was very specific it. about warning signs nice. in particular. Yeah, I like that idea. Big gun. Oh, you just you just take the whole gun out. Yeah. I... Take that, you law-breaking dairy right? products. Sam, <laughs> right. no, the cheese was innocent. Innocent? I think not. Voila, Swiss cheese, or close oh enough to God. fool a casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. <laughs> that is that is that is good uh cartoon puzzle solving that's uh, yeah. so good it's a good tutorial puzzle greeting like this is the members this is of what the you're benevolent gonna be brotherhood with. of vermin would like to thank you for your offering the members of sam and max would like their phone back now if you don't mind i regret to inform you the situation has changed and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. <laughs> let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. <laughs> oh. Oh, sweet! Alright. Ooh, ooh. Oh, heck yes. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. All right, here we go. I'll feed you broken glass. How about that? <laughs> I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Oh, oh. Oh, Max, we just keep yelling at him? Or do we go back here and got a headache, eh? Uh, there. oh, yeah, there it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Oh. I'll go to my... Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Last one, last one, yeah. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could it up. see he that. Coughed it up! Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yay! <laughs> 
Where's the rat? <laughs> I let him go. Who was on the phone? There was a commissioner, Max. <laughs> Multiple Jesus. reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. <laughs> We've got to get down to the corner store right away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> let me just make sure there's nothing else that I missed here. I think we got everything. Ooh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't, ooh, what's this? We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. <laughs> I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that is really funny. That's, that's the funniest shit ever. I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? <laughs> All right. That's, oh, that just cuts too deep. Yeah, it's so good. Oh no, this this is we we've done the unthinkable. We're playing just a just a well written game. Oh wait, it's the loading screen. Yeah. Please enjoy these these oh. uh, freeze frames of us. <clears throat> wow, that loading screen really. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Like it, it goes it goes very hard on the loading. Yeah. Wow. All right. Oh, it had it had a hint, but I, I didn't see what it said. All right, so double click is run. One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. <laughs> Remind me to refill your prescriptions. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, he just gets knocked out of the way. <laughs> yeah, that's that great. Is, uh... That's really good. Wow. Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great! I love riding mowers. Oh, They're like golf carts show. with teeth. Dude, I love how insane Max is. Yeah. He just yeah. it's just like pure chaos and violence. It's Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great! I is this, love riding. Um, Oops. Is this the same neighborhood that we were in in the last game? I don't know. Did we this get place used out to be into Lefty's the neighborhood? Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. We did a little bit. Lefty. He wants to like in the eye with the number three socket spanner. Exactly. Good times. See, I I actually feel like this this game does something that is so dangerous, which is that it has two characters quipping with each other constantly. If that is ever not funny, it's horrible. Right. Yeah. It's it's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm I'm so interested in this because like I, I was having a discussion um, with a friend recently about how how many games don't feel like they are designed. It feels like they are featured or like featureified. Oh, it's like it's like huh. all these games, modern games, feel like they're trying to be each other, like, like checking boxes. Yeah. Oh, we're an open world game, and we also have a system where you can race from location A to B to get some in-game currency. Yeah. And we also have. Mm -hmm. uh, a start with a hundred and stay in the shrinking circle game, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, yeah, like yeah. the number of games are just yep. like they're all sort of converging to each other, um, and like pitching features is really easy because it's very concrete, it's very external. It's not like what I think. It's like that thing in that game, people do that thing, so we're going to do that thing out there. And it's so much harder to pitch something that's very internal. Like, oh no, I I'm capable of writing dialogue that's really good. We have like really good writers. And there's not gonna be that much interesting puzzle and gameplay solving. There's gonna be some of that, but not as much as there's gonna be just really good writing. Like that's harder to convey. Yeah, it's so good. Like it's gonna be yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. Hard to pitch a comedy game, I think. Dead end. One way, dead end. Street sign. Remind me to refill your person. Oh my god, I just realized I'm doing something that for some reason is a convention in these games. Which is that period skips dialogue. Oh. I don't know that I knew that. You want to see if I can hit any button. Does, does right click Tempering also? Tempering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and find imprisonment. Out. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. <laughs> Go to Sybil's therapy. Yeah, let me Why see if I can skip this. Let me... Piercing tattoo psychotherapy. Dead end. One way. Yeah, yeah. Right click does it too. I actually love piercing tattoos. Psychotherapy. All right. Mm -hmm. Goodbye frames. Yep. Well, 
Malcolm, you look like you could use some therapy. Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you. Hey, I know you. <laughs> hey, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers, yeah. Hi, peepers. We loved your show. I don't know what you're talking about. My name <laughs> is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is where your past comes, to, comes die. to die. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, this is so good. Therapist of the year. <laughs> this creatively decorated therapist office. Oh god, I love. What does this got, thing it's say? Got the over Kleenex. Here? It says. I think it says Snifflu. Nice. Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely. Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. That's me. He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? <laughs> Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. <laughs> Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? <laughs> Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID? Sybil. My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? <laughs> I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. All right, so can I flip this yet? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, psychoanalyze yeah, me. About a little analysis. Certainly. Tell me what's bothering you. Ooh. Which one? <laughs> uh, a general malaise. I, yeah, I've been I'm feeling interested less frisky than usual. Well then, you might try Brady Culture's Ibo video. That'll put a spring in your step. What? Your eyes too. Ibo? Yes, my runny poached egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it. Ibo. Is that like Tybo? Yeah. Yeah, Tybo. Right. Have you got a I copy have, of this oh cockamamie God. video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's. One thing I do like about this sort of adventure game cartoon humor is when they put puns that are so weird that it takes you a while to figure out what the hell it's supposed to be. Yeah, 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 like <laughs> I was like, love. what is that joke referencing? All right. Who's this lady culture person? Brady, Brady culture. He's only the most insightful and amazing man of the planet. That's all. Brady culture. It's not Sean Penn? Not anymore. I'm so disillusioned. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> What's Hybro exactly? Ibo! It's called Ibo! It's a system of ocular exercises! So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. Enough said. <laughs> Excuse oh me for God. a minute, would you? Sure! Yeah, what's the knocking? There's somebody locked in the closet. Oh. It's eerily lifelike for a fake plant. The same could be said for a lot of our friends. <laughs> ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. The dead are the kitsch of the living. Jesus. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barbershop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. <laughs> I actually love that relax sign. That's incredible. I want to go on Etsy and get that. Yeah, I know, right? I want to get some Newton's Sam and Max Balls. paraphernalia. You know, I'm actually going to write this down. Where's Where's my to-do list? I'm going to look up Sam and Max Etsy. Because, like, I That's love good. Sam That's and Max. That's smart. Yeah. We're buying all sorts of stuff for the house, and it's just like... Jesus. Can I play with that? Ah, it's good exercise for the eyes, but Brady Culture's Ibo video is better! Uh -oh. oh my god. We're really Hello. supposed to watch is that video. Is anybody there? Yeah. Ah, the Tiki. Pulled over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. And what else is here? We have tattoo designs. Yeah, I think... I think... I think I'm ready to go to the... The corner market go, store. Check out the closet! Oh. Yeah, that's the one thing we didn't do. I'm so dumb. All right, well, it looks like when it loads in once, it actually just stays loaded. Let's go in there and see what the loading Hopefully. screen is like. Fingers crossed. Yeah, look yeah. at that. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. Thank God. 
God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my God! He's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. <laughs> what? We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that <laughs> lunatic immediately! <laughs> he's my but pal. He's my pal. What's the charge? Yeah, why well, not? He's my charge? pal. You were friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. <laughs> I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? What's the charge? Assault, kidnapping, identity theft. Those are good charges. <laughs> Some of my favorites. <laughs> and what about mopery? He locked me in the closet and he's been pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these cases Gadzooks. can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac oh. Freudianism. Yeah. Come again? <laughs> Late and done work the whack job. Although, you. actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Oh, wait, how can you tell, huh? How can, how can you, you tell? tell? Oh, it must be the so eye thing. Lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. <laughs> it takes a professional. Must be eye -bow. Can we borrow your eye? Yeah. We'll bring it back. <laughs> Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. <laughs> yep, that's what I said. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music, or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! <laughs> Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! <laughs> now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna ask Max to knock him out. B oh, bowling? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing bowling ball. Oh, what yes. do we do about the fake therapist? Which one? I heard that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> How about a little good old-fashioned unbridled <laughs> aggression? All right, let's look around. Great idea. All right, so like, just hit him with. The... Oh, look, we have a boxing glove. Oh, okay. we have a boxing, boxing glove. glove. That's pretty ball. good. Yeah. I can see you. Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there oh, he is. Shoot. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How that could was you? Oh, Just he's... comes naturally, I guess. He moves like so, so fast. He's mm -hmm. so fast that we need to solve a puzzle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. he's still here. He's still here, so. He's coming back. Hmm. Right, it's just that he saw our intentions and he immediately. Oh, it is. Ran How would you know? Fast. You don't have a tattoo. Yeah. Don't I? How would you know? <laughs> don't have a tattoo. Max almost lost oh a finger God. in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. <laughs> All right, so. So we need some way to slow this guy down. I can yeah. see you! And he keeps saying, I can see you, Please which makes me wonder if that. you have to... He's all about the eyes. Hey, Peepers. He's all about the eyes. Fibble. Right. And his I name is like... Peepers. Yeah, right, exactly. Here we go. You're under arrest for kidnapping and impersonating a psychotherapist. Ridiculous! I'd never do that! After all, I'm a psychotherapist myself! Uh -oh. Definitely a psycho something! <laughs> Alright. You um... sure move fast for a man your age. Well, a constant diet of beverages loaded with caffeine and sugar gives me the blood pressure and heart rate of a hummingbird. <laughs> Sam, what's the lifespan of a hummingbird? Hush, little buddy. <laughs> All right. All right, so Excuse we, we need minute, something to slow sure. him down. Or, or to like, just... to set a trap for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there stuff over here? stuff to look at. All right, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to move cuz I Yeah. There's more there's more places yeah. we haven't yeah. been. We're going to need to like, you know, get like a photography flash bulb or something or We're going to have to mm. temporarily blind him, I think. Mm, I see what you're saying. Yep. Oh yeah. Look, Max. Liver and onions are in town. I know. I can't <laughs> wait. I love when they throw expired meat products at the crowd. <laughs> music is so good oh i mean th this is one of these just like creative triumphs 
like yeah. the writing, the environment, even like a lot of the uh, work that they did to get the graphical style to look like this yeah. is so smart for 2007. Because mm -hmm. like, I mean, it looks. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, it's like tune shading, but like really with um, something about the way that the edges are done is like really nice. Yeah, the this um, was done in yeah. the era where four by three was still the dominant dimensions of monitors. Like, because um, this Good. this game is fourteen years old. Well, I guess fifteen years old, um, and the remaster mm -hmm. is one year old. And because if and, you use like a, de a default tune shader in Unity, it's it would not look this good. It yeah. would like this looks more buttery for some reason. Like if you look at the, well, I mean this is a remaster as well, but I mean also like look right. at this, look at this lamp post. This actually, if you look at it for a while, this thing it looks like shit, but you wouldn't notice, right? This is a blocky. <laughs> Flatly shaded white Fuck like, that ball. Lamp post. <coughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. Like just just the top. Just the top part, right? Like but yeah, everything else is stylized just right. Yeah, just the tip is weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's but, delicious. Everything everything looks like it's made of Funko Pops. Yeah, I mean like just great. These little egg looking things, the fact that they're like oblong and the way that mm -hmm. everything's shaded, I mean this is like a perfect example of Yeah, this is not trying to push the graphical realism. It's trying to push it in the stylized direction. And the fact that you actually don't have details looks correct on a lot of the texturing. Oh, it's just so smart. Um, I, I can, can I make a request? Can you go look at one of these big hair guy pictures? Mm -hmm. the, the graffitis? They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Okay. I guess we saw the person painting it right there. Oh. Huh? Uh -oh. Let's get cracking. Yeah. Bent meter. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look, Sam, it's another one of the soda poppers. Wow, what are the odds? Say there, soda man. Oh. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! You were famous. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. <laughs> <laughs> Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign the, my butt. Is the Make it out to Squinky. Drawing? I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish <laughs> and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. What is he painting? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what this is. And it's, for any of you who are wondering if we horrifying. played this, we played the original Sam and Max Hit the Road that was released in like ninety two. Oh, someone looked Something that like up. That. I better I better be correct on that. I think it was ninety two. Sean Bloom, come on, make me look good here. Make me look good. A ninety three. Very uh, close. Alright, I'm I'm still pretty sick. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. You made me mess up, but you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. So, Specs, what are you up to <laughs> these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the oh, genius no. behind the oh, iBook no. Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Ibo sounds Ibo. like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary <laughs> ocular fitness program. Yeah, Ibo. Try the video today. All right. Where can I find We're a copy to watch of the video. video? They carry them. Yeah, no, I'm boxes. excited. You should get it. Sounds fascinating. But enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's This Ibo. has sort of the ring effect where I'm like, yeah. if we watch this video, is it going to hypnotize well, us? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. All right, um, you're under arrest. By the way, we're freelance police, and you're under arrest. No, I've really got to finish this. But thanks anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> seriously, you're under arrest. Come along quietly and no one gets hurt. 
Actually, I prefer that you don't come quietly. Must finish painting. Oh, he is hypnotized. Tell me is something that Brady about culture, that trendy you think modern that, uh, street uh, art you're painting? perpetrating. Yeah, uh, what it, about it? I seem to remember that. <laughs> vandalism is illegal, you vandal. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? <laughs> Everyone loves Brady Culture. Brady Culture is such a good name. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? Oh, because no. he looks like uh, he looks like the, the Brady I'm guy. I'm just pulling with the your big, like, leg, my friend. Oh. Don't do that. All right. He does. does. We'll leave you to he it. Does. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I only paint a little Brady a little bit culture. of a Mike Brady thing, sort of. Oh, spray paint. I'm Oscar's taking it. Hey, a can of spray Hell paint. Yeah. And it's not even empty. Bad news. What is the headline? It's a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. Dude, I love that it's bad news and worse news. It's so good. <laughs> it says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. Cloning rights activists. Cloning rights activists. Awesome. Takes right. me back to my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good, <laughs> man. Good. Oh, yeah. dude. Look at, look at Bosco's Looks like guns, got liquor, and baby beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. <laughs> All right, so so this is. I think. Can we keep going? Oh, look, it's straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. God, it's so good. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. All right. Can you read it? What does it say on it? It says Brady Culture's Ibo Ocular Fitness. Oh, shit. Man, gotcha. look, okay. Ibo 9. What happened when you <laughs> click on it? He goes, it says, hmm. Weird. All right, here it comes. We haven't loaded into this yet. Let's let's watch the tank. All right, there it is. Boom. Bam. Have no fear, oh. simple citizens. That was a quick one, though. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. <clears throat> Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. Where is this Bunch Lilliputian cares. agitator? Lilliputian. Are you blind? He's right there. Is a good word. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard. He's a former child star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail. <laughs> throw away the jail? That's so good. <laughs> uh, oh. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? All right, what's he doing? Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's <laughs> Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Video dump, but what? why? <laughs> Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload <clears throat> videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. <laughs> it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. Oh, yeah. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <laughs> no, it's definitely a conspiracy. Hot weenies in an updraft. I love sniffs twice. No, yeah. no, it's definitely an updraft. Um, Jeff, is there some uh, controversy with the original voice actor I don't know about? No, I mean, just I assume that something contractual or maybe they just wanted to re-record or anything like that. Like, um, I mean, the, rarely is there a remaster where some content is not changed. And frankly, yeah. when it comes to the voices... The voice of Max sounds really similar to the voice of Max in the original Sam and Max at the road, but the voice actor for Sam is definitely different. And it still sounds oh. weird to me. But I just sort of, just like, yeah, no, it's different. It's fine. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? 
Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, <laughs> headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray, Stop telt right there. Telt hairspray had no part in this. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, that's, that's what so you good. Like to believe. All right. Have you uh, actually witnessed this eyeball effect. video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. <laughs> Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted <laughs> video dumper and serial leak taker. Then not even the National Guard can help us now. So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges. All right. That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? Sharpen no way. Spork. I've got BTADS, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. BTADS? 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 Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? <laughs> yep. Bosco <laughs> Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Yeah. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon. You'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead. I dare you. Maybe Hold we will. Gun. All right. Um, all right, then we got I it. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. <laughs> Don't patronize me. <laughs> oh my god, that's really good. I mean, those were two incredibly well-delivered lines, too. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Dude, uh, Schwabity Boss is... Perfect joke. Yeah, no, it's like, yeah. it's perfect. Uh, Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have candy any exiled political boy? dissidents? Nope. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh my god. Do you have any hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have any weasels on a stick? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh my god. It's so, so good. good. Oh, it's fucking perfect. Oh, this game rules. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Oh my god, I mean, we'll can we just appreciate later, Bosco, the dialogue tree that just happened? Now it's time to get up close and personal with that yeah, sized really evil doer. Oh Stop god. that crazy man before he kills us all! You know, I I, I really think that... Oh wow, Ooh. he's fast too. I, I oh, they're really all think, fast. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. I, I think that this kind of environment and aesthetic is perfect for graphic adventure games. Because, like, when we were trying to play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, and, like, we're supposed to take everything seriously, including the romance with Sophie, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't, <laughs> you know? But this game takes nothing seriously at any point, and it's perfect. Let's see here. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Uncommonly. I have not heard that word used ever. Uncommonly is so good, man. Well, I'm an uncommonly good. good magic player. Like, uncommonly is like, fucking <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to pull this out and trigger this. Ooh. Whoa! That's what I'm talking okay. about. Clean up on aisle three. Oh, can we get All right, okay, I gotta pull in. other guy punched out with that? Only yeah, yeah, because I'm thinking otherwise, we... no complaints. <laughs> Bosco's is a gun-free zone. Gun-free? Sartre was right. Purgatory really is a convenience store. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, little buddy. It jiggles my sensitive cranium. So we need to take something and put it on him. Yeah. And then when he runs right. us. I brought my lunch today. <laughs> Hot weenies. Look, 
Sam. Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie <laughs> cannibalism turns my stomach. <laughs> Dude, I love these very simple references to the fact that Sam is a dog. Like, yeah. so yeah, much. Yeah. Yeah. Like, look at trash. Really good. No, I brought my lunch today. Like, that is so good. Because we tell you, CC the dog only wants to eat the shit of other what? dogs and cigarette butts and garbage. Like, every time I'm on a walk, I see cigarette butts, I'm like, CC knows. Just, like, <laughs> just trying to go for it. <laughs> All right. Magazines. What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-loathing weekly? Oh, let me see that. Self-loathing. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. <laughs> $1 lottery tickets. $2. I'm feeling lucky already. <laughs> Alright, so if I hit hit that T button. Oh my god, dude. Sam is tall. He's like six feet tall. Why does man. it have the yeah, yeah, why does it have the the, the ruler height thing? I feel like I've seen that before. I don't know why. Oh, it's so that on security footage you can tell how tall Whoa. somebody who robbed your store was. Oh, that's funny. That's such a okay. So Joe's. it's like it's Free like real with kinda... every purchase. Free toilet brush. I'm sold. How do you how would you describe that? How would you describe decor that just says like we're used to getting robbed? <laughs> that's right. Like uh. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's the bulletproof glass at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> yes. It's common in L.A. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, the, um, I remember I uh, once sat next to a guy that ran a, uh, a gas station in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And he explained that they get robbed all the time. But basically, anytime the till gets above, like, 200 bucks in it, they just mm -hmm. dump it into a safe, and they don't have the key for it. Only yeah. the um, oh. armor truck that comes by. So if there, someone's like, "Give me everything in the in the cash register," he's like, "All right," flips it open, gives them all the money, shuts it, marks down. They got robbed again. And he's sitting there and he's like, wow. "Yeah, it's weird because you know you get robbed and then thirty seconds later someone else comes in and they're like, "Hey, do you have any uh, uh, cinnamon gum?" And you're like, "Yep, it's over here." You know. You know <laughs> that, would so yeah. that would be weird. That would be weird. Not Joe's. They're mine, not Joe's. <laughs> Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. Sludgy. This week's flavors wheatgrass and meatloaf. Oh my god. <laughs> Max, I've sludgy. got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. <laughs> I think it's also the just tinge like, of look green at the that drawers. makes this coffee especially appealing. Look at how I the take drawers my are like, green. like my man. Oh yeah. Zipped together. It's just like the crate that delivers Bosco's so terror. What is he doing? He's delivering videos. Oh, is he going videos. to get? He's getting more videos. God. Oh, out of the car. Yeah. Well, let me take an eyebo. Free videos. Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's eyebo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. Isometric. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh, good. I can never <laughs> seem to lose that last five pounds. <laughs> you say we start office movie night a little early today. I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to talk to Wizard and I'm going to get him conked out. Office movie night. I feel like there's going to hey be there, two Mr. stages Wizard. to this. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. I feel like they're going to like have to <laughs> plant they're going to like have to plant a weapon in the truck so that he accidentally picks it up. Well, I think I think you we just put the cheese in his thing and he runs out because it's an unpaid for item. I think that's exactly right, but oh, I think we're okay. gonna have to we're gonna have to get him to go to the bathroom so that we can put the cheese in his crate. Ah, yeah, yeah. It. Um, do we get him to go to the bathroom by your making? Show. Oh yeah, bathroom we've sounds always like, been a like big hit with the dentist. Dripping sounds. Gee, I wonder Could why. Be. Hey kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, To Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. 
I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. That was an incident. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. All right. Are you, you going to get like them all the together to sing on the TV something? show? Maybe. Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. <laughs> all right. Well, that's nice. What is? <laughs> what exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? Monotonoid. Wait a minute, little buddy. Oh my god, that's the, there's mm, so many good words. Uncommonly monotonoid? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on. It's a free country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? This guy's <laughs> suffering from some pretty severe delusions. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. All right, so let me, look, what if we can go into Public the bathroom? Rooms, unholy temples to all things unsanitary. Women, men. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do bathroom it. Bathroom terror, oh, what's the bathroom terror level? Look Probably at the bunny. Terror. Bathroom terror level, oh my God. <laughs> Uh oh! Oh, there you go. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened <laughs> his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. All right, let me, let me. Cheese. Cheese, get in there. Yeah. Only cheese-based puzzles at the start. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. <laughs> oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. What the? Oh, there we go. Time out for number one. We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining <laughs> either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> Jesus. Classic. Oh, who's watching? Just oh, no. Classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Uh, it's still not quite right. Uh, Must be Brady hey, culture. You just gonna leave him there? Uh. All right. So. So now what? We. I don't want to wake him up. Do we need to bring <laughs> Sybil <laughs> over oh. here? Coffee machine? I think it's the tinge of green that makes this. I take my coffee green. Like. Yes, yeah, so I mean, like my men. <laughs> um, tongues placed on. I mean, we could go try to watch this video. I got quite yeah. a few tongues that way. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna Children keep looking. Look at the fluids. Yeah, yeah. I wonder yeah, yeah. if Bosco so used good. the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. <laughs> All right, so I mean, I think we should watch the video, and I don't know if. I'm allowed to leave. I don't want to wake him up. I think you oh. are. You don't have any cheese anymore. All right, nice. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm running back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going. <laughs> That's a good run. Yeah. That's a quick pace. Oh, look at that transition. All right. Freelance police. That is really good. Freelance police is the funniest. All right, put it's in the like VCR. Political. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. <laughs> Quick, before it starts. 
Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. Uh oh. What you are about to see <laughs> will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. Oh, yeah. Me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. <laughs> I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look. Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. Jimmy I think Two I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. <laughs> I want to see what happens to the Tiny hoodlums. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Dude, it's those sort of details that are just so good. Oh, he's not there anymore. Oh, well, oh no, that's not where the he other was. one. Yeah. Can we get him to come to this one and then drop that's, something that's heavy? That's kind of what I'm head? thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're all they're all fast in their own ways. Oh, you've got spray paint. Yeah, let's just ruin this. Oh. I don't want to get into a paint fight in my good suit. Oh. I think you need to spray the other one so that then he'll come and fix it. Oh, that's oh. such a good call. Oh. And then you drop a bowling ball on his head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. True gamers coordinating and working together. This could use a little improvement. <laughs> it's going to be sad. There it hey, is. Hey, hey, you oh, messed it up. Oh, now I've got to fix it, brain freeze. Brain, please. Brain, please. Then I go over and I ruin the other one, and then he figures out I ruin the other one. Oh. All right, let's see. Oh, we just solved too fast. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you oh believe God, we get paid that. for this? I love this country. <laughs> <laughs> you made me mess up. <laughs> and now this is quality television. Excellent, dude. We are. Except, hold on. Smoking My through. evil plan is in jeopardy. Who oh, dares it's gonna to say there's one me? more? Left. Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Well, we've admired our handiwork <laughs> long enough. Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. All right, here we go. Ew. Just out of here concussing people. Dude, that's how it's done. Now, now, what what do we need to do to get the last guy? We'll be out for a good yeah, while. that's a good question. Because you're talking uh, about like getting a flash. Let's. So yeah, blind him somehow, or tampering with. What do the we have in our federal offense? Punish. Him. As we found. All right. So. So, what's in our inventory? We oh, have in pocket. boxing glove, spray paint, and big gun. Oh, that's not much. We haven't oh, used the boxing glove. We should ask her to hypnotize hey, this Sybil. guy, maybe. Hello. Oh. Uh, I meant the other Sybil. So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? My Why head is he? leaking like a cheesecloth canoe. I'm ashamed to say I forgot what you told us to do. Just knock this guy unconscious. Hit him over the head or something. Okay. Excuse us. Why, We've got uh, I'll say. Why does, has he been hypnotized to think that he's Sybil? Uh, it's clearly part of somebody's evil plot. Yeah. Yeah. Know. Why would Brady Culture want him to think he was... It's getting Sybil. late. Huh? Hey, Sam. If it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. <laughs> is he running into the closet? If you close the closet door, does he... I don't know, that's a pretty dumb... 
solution. Right? That's a, yeah, no, dude, a weird closing solution, doors. I mean, this is this is someone who's played escape rooms where it's like, what if we close that door? What's on the back of it? There is oh, so many yes. so many escape rooms that I've done where I'm just like, I didn't I didn't close the door? I, Literally, I, there's I an think instruction manual. Try here. it though. I think you should. I think you should close the door and then try to hit him with the. Yeah. Uh, yep. 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 Close the closing yeah, yeah, door okay, and punch okay. him in the okay. noggin. Hit striker KOJ on Riven when we didn't close that door, and then we close it, and there's like God, a whole ass passage. That was terrible. There was Riven's like you close the door, and there's like three doors behind it. Yeah. Doors on doors on elevators. I can see you. Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You oh. attacked a licensed psychotherapist. How could you? Okay, so we have Just to come naturally, a... I guess. Hmm. That is a weird little moment. Where he says, "I can see you," and then he runs away and back. That's I guess like, strange. Like, like I, so quickly, yeah. I feel like we're supposed to pay attention to the fact that he said, "I can see you." Yeah. For sure. No, you're right. You're right. I also feel like that the fan, that There's oscillating no fan, is kind of um, stands right, out fan. a little bit. Is like the fan, yeah, it seems like it does stand out. Oh, yeah. Actually, I haven't interacted with a DeSoto yet. Where oh, we yeah. Going, Can Sam? we go somewhere? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! What is this? There we go. Whoa. By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. Wait, whoa! Attention, fellow drivers. If for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you! <laughs> Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dang! So, this is so irresponsible. Wait. Oh yeah, I I, I don't I, I don't even understand why this is in the game. This is incredible. Yeah, We're gonna um, need it at some point, I think. Yeah, is there like a person or a thing oh, that we're look looking at, for here? Do you see any look like? Look at how the horizon curves down. It's so good. Yeah, it is really good. Fifty foot walkathon, um, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to. Duck I'm trying to see show. if those buildings are actually curving as they come up, or if they're just growing. Because shaders like that are always so interesting. To me. Walk on discount water bed show. Oh my god! All I'm doing is reasons. Whoops. Yeah, let me go back to the office. Cause I, I don't even know what this is for. <laughs> it's cool though. You're definitely rear-ending motorists. Yeah. So, so okay, I'm actually, I'm gonna try to use the in-game hint system. I'm gonna see how it works. I don't know, we're gonna give us a little spin. What should we do with Sleeping Beauty over there? The therapist lady said she'd show us. Oh, we have to deprogram him. Let's get cracking. Yeah. yeah, so maybe we, we could talk to the therapist. I also think if you go into Sybil's, you'll get a different hint. Remember our old car, Max? Yeah. I said I was sorry. Yeah, let me, let me. Oops. All right, let's run over into this. So let's see what happens when we talk to Max. That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. Would you know? Don't I? That looks oh, oh. do <laughs> This guy's fast. And he's got good eyes, so I doubt I can sneak it's up on definitely him. Definitely the Take eyes. You're totally eyes right. Thanks. You're a big help. Let's look around. Great idea. Huh. So I I like the idea of the flash. What about those lights? So Not interactive. Um, shoot him in the eyes. Shoot him in the eyes. Yeah. What about the Newton balls? Work. The Newton's balls. So th there's just like there's not a lot of interactables. So I want to run back to the to the yeah. store and look around the store because I mean, we we basically like don't have any screens. Ooh, who says? Well, 
Oh, yeah. I guess backseating's not... But, yeah, not good to backseat. Although, some of these backseating comments are more like... Fun flights of fancy. Who's there? Yeah, it's just you. Whole tar. <laughs> Look at that special. fucking Buy one, tar. get one. What a deal! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what's interactable here. It doesn't look like there's anything. I also, I feel like you can't take anything out of the store. Yeah. Oh, fun. Fun. Mm. Oh, he raised the terror level while he was in there. Yeah. Ah. Um... So, so I'm gonna... Kindly ask folks to stop hurling out ideas. Oh. Kindly ask. There's, they'll have to I do it. They'll have to do it on a different chat. It's true. It's true. <clears throat> I, I like. I don't remember much that was in the office that would I'm be briefly helpful. There wasn't like a, Yeah. I wonder if there's like a flashlight or something. But I um. I like. I'm trying to think. There's there's the tiger clock. Uh, yeah. in the in the therapist's office. I'm not sure what to do with that. If I shut this door. And then there's the um the relax sign has like snakes going through the I eyes and Yeah, I saw that too. You're it kept me. focusing on it. Um Spex has glasses. Which is weird that he's Spex, but he's not the eyes one. So we've already clicked on all right. of these things. Let's do the PP challenge where I go pee and then by the time I get back, maybe you've solved it. Ooh, that's a good challenge. Okay. Alright, so Sean, I feel like we should just go into... Actually, is there anything else over here? No. No, okay. I don't think there is. Um, talk to Sybil again. So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? What happened to your tattoo business? Hmm. Don't stuff. tell me they actually enforce those health code violations. No, no, of course they don't. But a guy came in here and asked me to put a ship on his chest, and I misheard him, and, well, I decided to hang it up after that. Oh, my God. Oh, God. It's funny. You're right across the street from us, and I don't think I've ever been in here before today. Your friend has. He's always trying to con me into giving him some kind of weird tattoo for free. You could put a line on my head and some eyes on my butt, and I'd look like I was upside down. <laughs> For the last time, no. All right. The sign outside says you're open 24 hours. Isn't that a bit odd for a psychotherapist? Well, in my crowd, a lot of people think they're vampires. <laughs> what would you say to taking a look under the old hood and analyzing my psychoses? Tell you what, I'll give you a free session if you'll take care of this nut job for me. I heard that. I think we need to discuss your feelings of hostility. Yeah, I... Quickly. Excuse okay. us, we've got work to do. So I'll I'm gonna, say... I'm gonna talk to the kid again. Sure. Let's look um, around. Great idea. What about the tattoo stuff? Do we look at that? Yeah, let's... I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient mm. and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. Okay, so... Skin art. Is that art for skin or art made from skin? Your ideas are effervescent pustules, Max. Sparkly and disgusting. All right, relax sign. That's Here the second go. least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the cat, the cat claw? Yeah. I got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. <laughs> Impressive credentials. Thank you. Hey, those are mine. I'm Symbol Pandemic. Oh, of course you are, dear. Of course. Very reassuring. So it's getting late. Hey, Sam. If it's always getting later oh, yeah. and later, oh, yeah, yeah, then how? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. How do I? Okay, we've got. We have the glove. The gun. I can uh, see you. Hmm. Please stop doing that! Fan? Shoot the fan? 
Um, I see we're shooting fans with guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, yep. Yep. absolutely. Like, I wanna, I wanna set the boxing glove up on like a hat rack so that I have the strangest. When urge he to turns redecorate. around and runs, Fight he it, runs Sam. into Fight it. it. But I don't actually know how to do that. Oh, it is. How would you know? Don't I? So he said he has the strangest urge to redecorate. Interesting. I have the strange. Fight it. Oh, it's on hmm. anything. It'll say that. Interesting. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the envious. A little. Something about the art. The uh, tattoos. Nice cactus, Saguaro. Oh. Hey, hey if you did oh, that no. in ink, you could do thirty tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Um, I am at a loss. Let me talk to you. Did you look at the think positive? Yeah. Uh, I feel better already. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, only Sybil. Can... You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm Sybil Ben. Right. So seriously, how long have you felt? It started do the, do when we the... found the lady in your closet. Ah, bad. No, no, she's my patient. It's an experimental new therapy I'm trying. What? He's the nut, not me. Sam, I'm getting confused. You're not the only one, little buddy. <laughs> Excuse do the... Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you saying? I, 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 what happened when you asked them to psychoanalyze you? Because you did that once, but it was before hey, she came out. Fibble. Right. Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what's bothering you. Violent sure, ends? violent ends. Try that. Oh, what about it's not oh, me? Oh, yeah, no, yes, Max. do that, yes. It's not me, it's Max. Hey! He thinks he's a rabbit. I am a rabbit. <laughs> See? <laughs> yes, well, I would recommend Brady Culture's Ibo video for this situation. Hmm. Good uh, eye I think health that's, helps combat that's why delusions. He's... That's why he's been rabbit. hypnotized Sounds and like I think a he's, he's a therapist. Oh, it is! So it that is. he can give that advice Something to everybody. Something else has been on my... Yep. Yeah. Me. Every time I watch television, I want to shoot something. That's quite normal, but you might want to try... I'm beginning okay. to sense a certain pattern to your courses of treatment. Well, you have to go with what works. Something... Tell me what's... Bo I think mm. I'm hallucinating. Because you look exactly like the former child star of a <laughs> 70s TV show to me. How odd! Perhaps you should consider trying Brady Cultures. Yeah. Is that your solution to everything? It's not mine, it's Brady Cultures! But <laughs> it may very well be the solution to everything, yes. All right. All right. We. This young woman claims that she's Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Which I am. Yes, it's an interesting delusion. She thinks she's me. I am you. I mean, oh, you know what I mean. Jumping whack job in the throes of a complete identity fracture. One of you's having a schism. Personally, I'd pick you. No, pick me. Pick me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me for a minute, would you? All right. Sure. Okay. So, I mean, I'm going to just hold my T button and see if there's something that I've missed. It could be something that I've missed. Could be that there is a location on the screen that I haven't hit yet. All of this looks familiar. Look at the L train. The Crosstown Limited. Of course, it doesn't stop anywhere near here. And I like spray paint this. Get over there, Sam. Oh. Nice. Can I get into lefties? It's a shame how many shops around here have shut down. All right, I'm holding the T button. Oh my god, I literally don't have a clue about what to do. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampage. I still don't know. Yeah, we did everything in the office. It takes me back uh... to my childhood. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I, I think we've covered everything. Um. What could we use a boxing glove? And we. We looked at pretty much everything in Bosco's. I don't know if we did look at everything, but... 
We use the boxing glove. Max, oh, you man. ever hear of the term tough love? It's the only kind of love I know. Uh, I I am completely at a loss. This is this I feel like is is the classic adventure game issue where they're like obviously trying to restrict where we can go, restrict the interactables, and I'm like I just can't quite think Hello. in the right way. Yeah. So maybe we need to use the boxing glove on something. What do we have here? Organ trader, self-loathing weekly. Oh, let me see that. <laughs> no thanks. I brought my lunch today. Um. Hey, Boshko. Hey, you just gonna yeah, leave him there? To... Uh. Yeah, oh my god, there it is. Have it reward. You know, we did put the kibosh on that whole terrorist no. operation, so. How about some free stuff? Is that why you did this? For free stuff? Was this all a part of the plot? Yes, a labyrinth and scheme in which we paid <laughs> off a former child star to deliver videos to your store just so that we could knock him out via your own security system and claim an undeserved reward. So you admit it! Conspiracy humor <laughs> may be lost on this crowd. Oh my god, the the rarest event, a once-in-a-lifetime event has just occurred. My brother, Tasteless, has raided the channel. Oh, shoot. Because my brother, like a total psychopath, is streaming on his trip to America. Like, literally, oh, if wow. I if I leave this room, I'm no longer day nine. My brother uh, is actually he's in L.A. I w had lunch with him today. Uh, oh, amazing. Us, Thank you, Nick. I love you, man. I hope awesome. that... Uh, your stream went great, and uh, it's so weird to have you in our time zone. <laughs> I don't know it's just like one of those those like conceptual things where like because uh, Nick is sixteen hours ahead in Korea, so the mm -hmm. only time we get to talk is at like the fringes of the evening. So a lot of times when mm -hmm. I'm going offline, I'll raid Nick, and Nick will be like, "Yeah, I'm just making some coffee right now." You know, and it's mm -hmm. so awesome to have you here. Hello, Nick, and hello. I don't know what the name of Nick's community is. Maybe it's just the uh... taste listeners. Taste listeners. Yeah, I like the taste listeners. That's really taste, good. Taste listeners. That's good. <laughs> All of yours and Nick was killing it in Brood War, as he does. Oh. So let's see. Can, can we... We want to buy something. We're stuck right uh, now. What you got we're not eye. sure. Hey, uh, Nick plays Protoss, right? Oh, he sure does. The most difficult How the hell do I know World. that? How do I know that? You're just... Because you're a gamerly. You know all the information about my fan. What have you got? Well, I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind Oh, here we go. What have you got? Oh, oh. Well, I've still got that big sale on cheese. No, oh, yeah, it's cheese. another dialogue like option. And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. All right. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. <laughs> oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. All right, tear well, gas help. grenade launcher? Oh, oh yeah, help. I really want that. Well, it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. You mean? <laughs> White collar crime drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we what? blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good, too. <laughs> All right, so so does this mean we have to go do, the, like, the driving minigame? We'd like I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you're going to need you? to... Oh, were you... It's a bug. You're, you're going to need $10,000. $10, $10, that, that... we got to find oh. an illegally wealthy motorist, and quick. Okay. All right, all right. It does Nothing sound like that's right what we're going to do. Sheila? Remember. What conversation? The conversation we just had. <laughs> no, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. <laughs> what conversation? Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> God, those exchanges are so good. All right, so let's go. Let's go get a a wealthy motorist. Like a, a wealthy motorist. Yeah. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for a yeah. Max. Goody! See, like, hinting towards that is way easier when you're over the top in your dialogue. You know, yeah. like... Okay, how does this actually work? 
I don't know. People of Earth, we come in peace. Just kidding. Prepare to die. Or I think I need to find like a really wealthy motorist. Yeah, like a like a super fancy car. All right. Not these ones. Yeah, I feel like it's like. going to be some sort of convertible. Solid gold car. Yeah, solid gold car. You know. I I'm mean, not sure what the ramps are for. Oh, let me show the you. Ramps? They're awesome. Whoa. Ooh. That's tight. But what does it, it seems mean? Like, seems like all these cars are pretty much the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there... I mean, what... Can it, I get it, a whoop whoop? Awa, awa. If you if you rear end one of them, what options are there for you to interact? Can I, like can if I you turn? use oh shit, I clicked out of the game. Ah, oh. upper whack or drive. So I feel like you need to rear end one and then either pull out your gun or honk your horn or let's see this. Yeah. Yeah, so let me let me let me hit him from behind. Oh right, yeah, because after you hit one, you're going about the same speed. Right. Huh. What about the? Oh. Ah, there we go. Pull over or die. Pull over or die. That's a little weird. It feels like they didn't. Hello. Tell us how We're to do freelance that. police. And you are not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Uh, <laughs> this, is very, yeah. this is very unethical. <laughs> worshipping false idols. We're locking you up for worshipping false idols. What are you talking about? I never worshipped any idols. Yeah, tell it to the judge. Actually, why don't we show some uncharacteristic mercy and find someone else to pull over? So that right. was not All the right. right person. Yeah, that was wrong. Hmm, no one seems to be breaking the law today. I know. What's the problem? Start committing some crimes, you sick bunch of reprobates. What? Do we need to do something that's going to cause people yeah. to... Yeah. I don't know. Jesus. Lisa yeah, that's, my condolences uh, that's kind of upsetting. Oh, we, we <laughs> shot out the tail light. We shot out the tail light. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay, so. Nice. Pull over. Pull over. So or we'll be to destroy your car and its so occupants, wrong. if any. Perfect. Oh my god, we shot out the tail light. It's so good. Greetings, anonymous motorist. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. <laughs> What's the charge? Incredible. Your tail light's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? <laughs> what, are you crazy? <laughs> One second, allow me to confer with my legal counsel. <clears throat> my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we got some accounting. <laughs> this is a, this is a bizarre Thanks, tangent. <laughs> All right, so, so... Uh, that was pretty weird. Yeah, dude, this is a game from 2007, and it's an adventure game, no less. Like, of course. Yeah. You know? All in a good day's work. All right. Run! Run! Why, why, why aren't you running? <laughs> I only <laughs> I run like for extremely short distances. Yeah, I know. So go run, 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 run. Hello. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. It's so good. Hey this... Bosco. Hey Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh that uh is so good. We wanna buy something. Ah, uh, what you got you? We got your tear gas money right here. Really? Well, Alright, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. Oh, what do you perfect. Mean? Oh my god, I forgot about the salad shooters. Oh, shit. 
The 10000 just uh, covered the cost of materials, you know? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> it's okay, everybody. I'm all right. All right, here we go. Exit. All right. Spray him in the face. Hi, Sheriff. Oh, Sheriff. I don't know if your, uh, your cat does this, Sean, but, like, Sheriff will eat and then, like, come up to me and be like, um, I'm, I'm no, trying to, like, clear your face. that's cute. I like oh, that. get me out of here. Can anybody else in chat remember salad shooters? I remind me about salad shooters. It's a it's basically like a paper shredder for your lettuce. And okay. It, you plunge the lettuce into it and it like a whole it. head of lettuce? Oh, Sibyl. Like a half. Yes. So here's uh, a couple of problems Sibyl. with it. It's what like a half, it's like a quarter Don't of worry. a head of this lettuce. Won't hurt a bit. So you you have to have already cut the lettuce into quarters. But it will make you cry. Uh -huh. And then it ch it chews it up really easily, and then you have to later clean the blades of the salad. Please, food. Sam, allow right, me. Right, 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 right. Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. <laughs> Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. Nice. <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. We did it. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. It's getting better. Yeah. Nice work, you there two. You now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing <laughs> That's here? That's some good psychotherapy. What's going on? Yeah, there you go. Sybil? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Excellent. Yes, Brady Culture was there. He kept telling me to do stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, <laughs> what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. <laughs> Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness. In a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Ow, 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 my ow, brothers ow. might. They oh. went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear. Shit. Hey, Doc. <laughs> hey, Sam. Thanks for taking care of that. So wow. good. I wish there was some way I could... Hey, 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 stop it. Hold on. My cat. Hold on. She's just... Okay. We gotta move this cat, and sorry everyone, you're gonna get your audio back in a sec. There you go. She she bites on the audio mixing dial, and then she just, like, yeah. pulls it down. And I'm like, no, 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 no. stop, oh, yeah. stop, stop. She's like, Arr. That's amazing. Have you got a ten grand? Cat. I'm new at this. I have a lot of student loans. Great! Loan us a student! I can ride it around like hey, a pony! Hey, it's hey, nice hey. to see you show such enthusiasm! Security. Alright. Psychoanalyze me. Max might like a tattoo. Oh yeah! I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands! <laughs> I get the cold shivers just thinking about remembering hearing you say that. I'm out of the tattoo business anyway. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. I love that! Alright. Can you fix cars? Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. Oh, never mind. I'm not much of a mechanic anyway, except with unicycles. I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. <laughs> we could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. I could interpret your dreams for you. Ooh. Oh boy! Ooh. Dreams, Ooh. dreams, all of them. All right. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. 
It's like peeling an onion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now just relax and try to remember your dream. <gasps> okay, here it goes. Oh, boy. Oh, what is oh, this boy. sequence? My dreams always start in the office. But this time, <laughs> things were different. Are we going to play? Is it playable? Mm, yes, I can Oh, I, oh. Tell me what happened. Oh, it's playable. Oh, it's, it's a playable, playable dream playable. sequence. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. Yes, the plant represents a source of sustenance. This is amazing. What was on it? Noodles. Oh, I thought it said noodles. No, needles. needles. Needles, money, a soda can, a dead leaf. Uh, 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 needles, needles. 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 It was a cactus. Hmm. Your sustenance is needles. Is there something you want to tell me, Sam? <laughs> yes, there is. This isn't costing me anything, is it? <laughs> I noticed something strange growing on my plant. A source of sustenance. Oh, what was on it? We we oh, yeah. A so, hefty sack of cash was in full flower. Oh, you think money grows on trees? You're dreaming. I noticed something <laughs> odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? A uh, tattoo. I think. Oh, yeah. It was a garish tattoo. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is so deep. In other words, <laughs> you don't know what it means. No. So, what are we trying I, to do here? Oh, I don't know, but we can we can convince her maybe of. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? You. It was you. <laughs> me? My my my. Oh, I represent your mother. You do. Oh. Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figured the old hag's got to be in there somewhere. That's psychotherapy 101. Insightful. <laughs> Tell me, in your dream, was I doing anything queer? You did say something pretty queer. You ungrateful pup. I went through three weeks of labor for you. Wow, it is your mother. I was right, as I usually am. So what what are we doing in here? Oh, I'm not. I don't know. I'm I not sure. something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet. We want to hide away. I things think we'll find it when we see it. Up. Please, Sam. What's in your closet? Camera. A hidden video sure. camera. Hmm. I think someone may be secretly ashamed of his voyeurs. So I want to leave this nope, because I have no idea why we need to be here. And oh, right. I turn to leave, leave the office. There's a. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No, oh. wait. I forgot something. Oh, do continue then. Yeah, there was something you wanted me to do. I oh, know. I was just thinking you'll you'll know it when you see it. I didn't know if we could leave or not. You know, let's. Was that the end of your dream? Yeah, yeah it just it seems like screen. there's a, a whole lot of content in this dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's like a puzzle. It's like we have to dial something in, right? Like, what about ink what's free association? Oh, like? whoops, sorry. It's a no, test no, of no, your no, reactions to things dude. in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing. Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? <laughs> no, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Oh. Uh, uh. Promenade. Interesting. Now try this okay. one. Crown. Just do or say so whatever you're able comes to, naturally. Like, you're able to move in the meantime? Yeah. You, Can I sit in the tattoo chair while we do this? Me first! Trigger word induces unusual desire for tattoo in subject. Possible symptoms. Dude, okay. I, I feel like there's a problem oh. and we don't know what it is yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave. Because can't run away from your the police problems, you know. uh, so commissioner swim. called us to take care of the three kids. And then we did. So maybe we should just right. give them a ring back. Do we go? Do we need to wake up the other two? <clears throat> Find it. Uh, take control yeah. of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby. What? What's going on? <laughs> it worked. Why is my nice. outfit Ridiculous. all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. 
No, tell us where we can find Brady <laughs> Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. 227. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. Well, that was helpful. Whee! Get out of the way. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Dude, I love the parallax. It just it feels so good. Like yeah. the camera framing is is perfect. Hello. Yeah. Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely Excellent. done, Sam. You're a natural. Oh, where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? <laughs> it's still oh, no. you laugh. <laughs> He's oh, getting oh, away oh, that oh. Oh. Quick, Follow that soda popper. Okay, Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Driving me Ready? Hurry, Sam. He's getting away. Oh, I need to dodge the boxes. If I hit one, does it slow me down? Of course you do. Of course it does. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. Oops. Shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. So close. On, this is good. actually pretty fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> I only know how to get bad. This is, uh... This is... Take the wheel, is... little buddy. Oh, With pleasure. There's music. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. Got him. Hell yeah. What is this thing? What? Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? <laughs> Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly <laughs> convenient. Thanks. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? Jesus. Oh, perfect. Wow, amazing. There you go. Oh, <laughs> this is this is perfect. Oh, That's dude! Very good. <laughs> All right, save game. Oh, did it? Did it do? Just, just did it. That's that that did it. Yeah, that was definitely. I mean, that's that's. There's only a few times in my life where I, I something like that happens, and I'm like so taken aback. By it. oh, this again. All right. Mm. Every single time, every single time, I'm gonna mess this up. Okay, we're fine again. Um, like, I love so much when you when you do something and it goes so quickly, it, it, it you're not ready for it. Like I remember when I called tech support for my ISP, which is like one of these smaller boutique ISPs. I called mm -hmm. customer support, and then someone goes, "Hello," and I'm like. <laughs> what the who who are you and they're like this is star customer support and i was like well my internet i think it's down and he's like oh it is hold on give me a sec yeah no it, it, it'll be up in like five minutes just give me a ring back if it's not up in five minutes and i'm like okay bye bye <laughs> it was like so fucking weird man save the game and the game's like all right yeah. normally it's like game saved or it shows like a screenshot of literally where you are with a timestamp. Like, ah, oh, it's so good. Did the, the, yeah. the this this game was terrific. Yeah, it was super fun game. though. That writing and the and your, to your point, the voice acting, like it's the performance is really really good. Yeah, I know that. Don't patronize me. <laughs> so God, I love that. Oh shit, that was funny. Yeah, and holy cow, like. The thing that's so strange to me about this game compared to previous games that we've... What what am I talking about? Hold on, my... Stay. 
Okay, what, what, what's strange to me is that if you look at this game compared to just like other, especially recently released games, like in the last five, six years, is that this game, in a sense, had hardly any like gameplay and puzzle solving, right? What we did is that we got assigned three of these guys, and then we had to like discover to bop one on the head, discover to drop a bowling ball on the other's head. Then it took us a little bit, and then we talked to someone and got a thing to make his eyes hurt, and then we punched him in the head. <laughs> that, yeah. That's literally yeah. all that we did today. But there's this overwhelming amount of like comedy dialogue and interactive funny bits and just kind of like toys. And this is, it's kind of like an interesting idea that if you give someone a bunch of toys next to a simple game, I mean, that's a really clean way to account for the fact that you're on a tight production schedule. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, but so I, much writing. I, yeah. There's a know. ton of, there's a ton of writing and the writing's really good. Uh, but I, in addition to the dialogue being like really witty and funny, um, there's this structural element to the writing of sort of uh, suggesting that there's stuff coming, like this constant pointing you towards the uh, a larger plot, like not yeah. just. There was a very good, you know, we, we, the phone rang and we got the phone and then we were given a case yeah, yeah, yeah. and we solved the case. But there's also this like framing of there's some mysterious person and there's a Brady culture and he's got a plot and he's watching it all on TV. Uh, and I think that like that kind of structure that is, is foreshadowing and pointing you towards like, and then um, the dream thing with Sybil, like that's going to be a thing. There's going to be yeah, a puzzle yeah, yeah. there. We don't know what it is yet, but like we get the sense. I feel like that's really important because of the episodic nature of the games Ooh. to, to like really draw your attention continually yeah, yeah, yeah. towards there's more stuff coming, like keep going forward. Yeah. Um, I... There's, there's plot. Yeah. God, like, cause I, I play that's so good. few plot story driven type games. And if if I'm being honest, the ones that I do play take just fucking forever to get there. Yeah. You know, like Mass Effect, you start off and it's like, all right, spend 8 hours in the Citadel and just wander around and talk to people and learn that there are politics. Mm -hmm. And then wander around and something strange is happening at the 12 hour mark. Yeah, you know, so isn't that interesting? The twelve hours in, there's something weird. It's a little, there's rack nine years. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy in the coconut to see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not what the game's about, but we'll get there. You know, like the the, the fact that that this is it, it reminds me of those kind of honestly like lowest common denominator police procedurals, where everyone is constantly asking questions that no one professionally would ask. That if you're someone who's half paying attention, like I do, if I have one of those on. I can still follow vaguely what's happening while also totally. multitasking something else. The game does that a good bit, right? Like just like constant pan backs and references to this evil person. Like they're like every time we knock someone out, it was like, there's an evil person. And he like knock another, another person out. Evil, evil guy. I'm here again. You know, it's like so in your face. And I frankly kind of like that. I like when stuff has a crisp, blunt pacing in a lot of ways. Yeah. Totally. No, I agree. Yeah, and there were very few seams. You know, occasionally we saw a, a line that was like a joke that was delivered twice, or yeah, or mm -hmm. something. But it was really good. It was super smooth. Mm -hmm. There was no like adventure gamey so kind good. of, you know, tropey sort of stuff to it. That was awesome. Yeah, I I wonder. I conjecture that next week when we pick this game up again uh that it'll just start tanking downhill in terms of the writing quality oh shit the reason i say that is this is the first one in an episodic series and i remember um one of the developers of king's quest the the recent i, I guess it was a 2016 mm -hmm. 2015 king's quest mm -hmm. um i think it was actually at usc and he, he was just joking about like oh i remember it was at uh, the usc imd um, 
fucking GDC dinner thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, Yeah, it it was (laughs) all those acronyms. And he was like, he was like, dude, I remember when we, we were down to three months an episode. And I hear about a game that had four months and I, I could, I can ship one AAA game every four months. Just give me that one month. Like all we ever need is one more month to make it perfect. You know, it just sounded like so grueling to be on a three month time frame. Oh. And I mean, yeah. I, I wonder, cause I feel like a lot of times with creative ideas, you just need like percolation time. You just need to sit there yeah. and steep. Yeah. And then you go, ah, this is going to be really good. And then you're just in the shower. And you're like, Ooh, that's a really good idea. And like, if you have just, Six months of prep work and setup time, building out all the engine and all this other stuff, a lot of percolating time for that. Um, right. And if it if if writing does go downhill, oh, it's because writers are any less talented. No, it's not. because of the, sure. It's because of the uh, inevitable pull of all of the forces of the world acting against the quality yeah, and I, of your writing. I'm real curious <laughs> to see what happens as the we get to X two and three. I'm curious. I do think like this game benefits from the fact that it was so early in the yeah. tell- telltale cycle. I think it, 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 it did not get as grueling as later games got on that kind of oh. a production schedule. And uh, yeah, some, I'm very curious to see how it holds up as we go through. Oh yeah. Well, um, should we, should we just leave then? Is that it? Maybe I'm going to go to bed. I'm so yeah. tired. I'm. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime. Ba da ba da 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 da. No.